everybody, how's it going? My name is Mitchell Scott. I uh, play on the Crest team for Ozark Mountain Discs here in Ozark, Missouri. Just wanna do a quick in the bag for you guys and uh, show you what we're throwing. Always like to see what the locals are throwing in our area um, and see what's working for them and uh, what they're learning in the, uh, and what's going on in the game. So first of all, I'll start with big shout out to Fossa. That's who I use my bag through. Uh, local guy here in town that does them for us. Uh, fantastic work, appreciate what they got going on. Um, and love the colors that they have available for bags. So we'll move pretty quick through this. I don't want to take too long, but I put with the Yeti Pros. Uh, been a big fan of these for a while. The grip is always consistent. Um, and uh, no matter the weather, whether it's cold, wet, hot, very consistent putters for me. I've been using them for a long time now. If I need to get a little bit extra distance on the putt, so edge a circle, I do go to an Envy, kind of base plastic Envy. Was initially a throwing putter, but pivoted over to a long range putter. Um, it's been something that's been big in my bag. Switching to the throwing putters, I do use the Prism Plasma Envy. It's got a lot more stability on it. Uh, not really throwing it into the wind, but it's got enough stability to fly straight and true for a long time for me. So when I pivoted from the base plastic, this is what I moved up to. If I do need to throw something in the wind, I will use a pig. My approach discs are usually pig and zones. Uh, zones on the back, on the forehand, pig on the backhand. Just been more comfortable on the grip style. Two different zones though, um, out of Hamas Tour Series and then the, our Ozark Mountain Discs, uh, Z Plastic. Um, this one's a little bit more stable for me. Just depends on the shot shaping that I'm needing to do, but I love throwing zones on forehand. It's been a lot more consistent for me. Um, and then uh, it's not too often on the backhand, but this is a much straighter flyer. Uh, it still has that good finish on the end though. A couple of utility discs that I use a lot. I've got the Mirage, which I don't see very many people throw at all. Very, very understable putter. Uh, Use it for like an anti putt. It'll still hold that line. Or if I need to throw something on vertical hyzer and then let it still stand up to flat and still even turn over, use this. Or the Paradox. The Paradox has a little bit more, I can trust a little bit more to finish or I'll hold that anhyzer line as it's in the air uh, when I really need to go right on a backhand. I love these discs. They're super fun. Uh, I have three mid ranges that I use right now. I have Reactor for my understable. Uh, I have a Rock X3 for my stable to straight flyer. And then I uh, finished off with a deflector, which is really a utility disc. It's uh, very, very beefy. I use this a lot for like my tomahawk rollers, like uh, in the woods. It holds that line very good. Uh, also, uh, you can rip it on a ton of Anheuser and it'll fight out the entire time. Traditionally, I am a hyzer thrower. So most of my stuff is an insanely stable, uh, but I've been working on that part of my game right now. couple different fairways. I only have a couple different fairways. I have my FD, which is kind of my straight to flippy uh, driver. I have a T-Bird or a Halo T-Bird that I use, which is a lot more stable to trust in the wind and release on any. Uh, this one's a workhorse for my fairway drivers. If I need it to be straight, but still stable on the end, I do have a T-Bird 3. Uh, this thing's been in my bag for about three years now. Absolutely love it. Uh, it's been very consistent for my game. And then finally, I have a Splice, which you guys all know, it's one of the super beefy. It's like a throwable tilt, it seems like, but um, I use it for a lot of utility shots or going over the top um, or forehand skip shots that I need to do. Uh, it's, not, it's not a traditional thrower that I pull it out of the bag a lot just because you can't get a lot of distance out of it. Um, so. Moving up from there, I have an Invictus. This is probably one of the biggest workhorse forehands that I have. Uh, it's got still a ton of stability on it. Uh, it can really lay into it pretty hard and it comes out. Uh, also really like it for my flat backhands, uh, knowing that this thing's gonna finish pretty hard on the end still. Um, it's been a big part of my game and something I've continued, I feel like I'll have in my bag for a long time just because I enjoy that so much. So my drivers, I kind of go from flippy to stable. <laughs> I don't keep them in speed order, it's just the most flippy to the most stable. So we'll go through these pretty quick. Turn, you guys all know it's very flippy. I had the Halo one and beat into where I needed it to go. Got a little too flippy for me, so now I use it as a roller disc. Um, I replaced that flippy spot in my bag with a D3. Um, you know, really can hit this on hyzer, stand up and turn it over still. Been enjoying that. Uh, it's a newer addition to my bag. I had a very flippy rate that I took out and tried to replace it with this. It's been doing pretty good. Um, I need maximum distance right now in a non-windy situation. I'm going to reach for my Excite. Um, 
can hit this on about five to 10 degrees of hyzer, stand up, let it turn over and ride. If you give it height, this thing will fly forever. It's 14 and a half speed. It's got a gigantic rim that's hard to grip. So it took a little bit of time to get used to that. Uh, but now that I use it a lot, it's been, uh, been a big fan of it. So uh, it's still got enough true stability on the end because it's such a fast driver, it's gonna finish for you. Um, so that's been a lot of fun to have in the bag. And then finally, the ones that almost everybody knows, it's got the Halo Wraith. Uh, it's a very straight flyer, but it resists, it's very torque resistant still, even though it's beat in, that thing's all chipped up and marred, but I love it. Uh, it's been on my bag for a number of years. Um, and, you know, I throw this straight, maybe a little ante, and really can let this ride a long time. It's probably the most go-to driver I have in my bag still. Uh, I probably throw it more than anything else. I have two destroyers. I have my bottom stamp Halo Destroyer, or sorry, bottom stamp Star Destroyer. Um, uh, this is a little bit more flippy than like one of the new chargers which i have um for me but it's also more stable than my race so it's kind of just whatever the wind's doing is how i adjust for that uh, i do have the halo destroyer it's probably my go-to distance driver for my forehand uh, i throw my invictus more but if i really need to get on something uh like on annie and uh let it ride out i definitely have my maximum distance on my forehand with this halo destroyer uh so it's a couple years old but beat in about where i like it and it's uh, done a ton of work there between those two destroyers though i did just pick up a brand new halo charger it's kind of stability falls between those for me um you know i'm getting used to it it's still pretty new in the bag obviously it's a new disc um but getting used to it in my bag and seeing how how i can get used to it and accustomed to throwing it really do like the plastic i like the hand feel of it um and uh you know the the, the artwork was fantastic i really like how the design of that and then finally, kind of an unthrowable disc. Uh, I got an MVP Envy. This I use for just absolute utility shots. You can do tomahawk rollers with it as well. Uh, if you're going over the top, you don't have to do the grenade grip to actually get it to grenade. You can just throw it on hyzer. You can almost throw it, not even spike hyzer, and throw it as it rises, it'll come down vertical. It's such an insanely stable disc. It's pretty new in my bag and I've been getting used to it, but uh, I've seen other people throw it. I've thrown a couple times before that, and it's going to be in the bag for a long time uh, just because the utility aspect of it is fantastic. So, Anyways, guys, that's me. That's the quick in the bag. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys out there on the course. Thanks for watching.